<laughs> but there's still people, damn it! Hey guys, welcome to episode three. Or have you changed so much that you've forgotten what that feels of, like? Uh, Black Ops 3. <clears throat> Alright, change of plan. Hendrix, your team will escort the minister to the extract. We'll go back and get the hostages. More robots. Yeah, don't worry about them. We're built to handle them. Go on, get out of here. Go! I got the wheel. Get on the turret. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You're not smarter than Achieved our objectives. A man's always gonna be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustained life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Downtown Zurich. Final stop. <gasps> hey! Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now, right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Okay. <sighs> RPG! 1130 AM, December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome, train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. It's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapons hot. Wipe the floor with these assholes. Just one route. High, low, left, right. 
Different paths yield different advantages. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode. All right, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, pow, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.